Are you a solo player trying to go flawless for the first time in Destiny 2 Trials? Well, I mean, that's obviously why you're here. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best ways to get your first ever flawless, or maybe you're just trying to go flawless and you don't have people to play with. Well, in today's video, I'll be covering the best tactics slash loadouts and deadly weapons to use in Trials of Osiris. Before we hop into today's video, if you guys could hit that like button, and if you're feeling super generous, maybe even considering hitting that subscribe button after watching the video if it helped you out. Also, a little bit of a newsflash, if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, today's video is sponsored by AOA.com. If you guys are interested in buying any cheap Destiny 2 silver, go check out AOA.com. Link in the description below. With all that said, I'm going to show you guys the best loadouts to use in Trials of Osiris. I like to call this build the Pre-Nerf Arbliss build. So this includes using the SMG, the Multimac, as well as the Lawrence Driver. Now on my Multimac, I do have the following roll, Substance, and Kill Clip. Now this Multimac is really, really good. I'm using Counterbalance Dock on it. It does some really nasty things as well as the Lawrence Driver. And then I'm pairing this with Invisible Night Stalker. So every time I dodge, which would be Top Tree, I go Invisible. Now this is really, really useful. I like to use this build the odd time in Trials. It's pretty nasty. Have you guys tried Lawrence? I'm sure you've died to it in the Crucible as it's a fairly popular weapon and it's pretty nasty. Now, another great weapon is the Vex Mytho class. Now, my personal favorite class is the Hunter, so I used a Wristwalker with a Vex Mytho class. Now, you guys can use Striker, aka Arc Staff, I should say, for the Hunter. I like using Bottom Tree for that little distortion below melee. It's a really nice build. I don't have my Vex actually fully leveled up, but the Vex Mytho class is a beast in PvP. You guys should definitely give it a shot. There's not really too much to it. I would prefer to use a Sniper or even a shotgun. Anything really works that's in your guys' comfort zone. The one important thing, the key to trials in my opinion, is using a loadout that you guys are best with. If you guys aren't too comfortable with these loadouts I'm showing you guys, try something you're comfortable with. If you guys are a sniper or a shotgun, give that a shot. If you guys like using pulse rifles and playing long range, go ahead and try that. Chaperone is also a really, really good choice currently in the PvP sandbox. Another great loadout in my opinion that I'll show you guys right now. Now, for the last loadout, I get a lot of comments regarding what loadout I use in Trials. Now, in my opinion, I think the Ace of Spades is one of the most valuable hand cannons right now in Destiny 2. Now, as you guys can see, I am bagging in this clip. These guys were actually bagging us first. Trials does get super, super toxic. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. But me, personally, I really enjoy using the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades is a great hand cannon, and uh, especially with the Memento Mori, it shoots like a 120, but it's actually a 120. 40, so that's the exotic perk, so it's pretty nasty. And then I also like pairing bottom tree golden gun for those throwing knives. You guys can hit some really nasty clips, and they also do one tap to the head, and they have a decent amount of aim assist and tracking, so they are a really, really valuable option, especially with bottom tree golden gun. But yeah, this is just my personal comfort zone with Destiny 2 PvP loadouts. Trials, like I've said, is a really, really specific game mode. If you guys are solo queuing, definitely use stasis. Go follow, don't worry about what other people think. If you guys like using Lawrence, if you guys have fun with that, go ahead, use it. If you guys like Vex, try it, give it a shot. If you guys don't have Vex, which I know that's the case for a lot of people, there's tons of other options. I know a lot of people like using long-ranged weapons like pulse rifles, snipers, shotguns, anything really under than, you know, what you would see normally. Some people like scouts, that's totally fine. The one main thing that people don't do in trials is they cater to the meta. You gotta play how you personally enjoy. If you guys are playing, and obviously you guys are gonna lose some games to win some, it's impossible to win every single game of Trials of Osiris, but you guys can get fairly decent wins and maybe even a possible flawless card. If you guys don't have teammates to, you know, team up with or you're just a solo player and you don't like talking on mic, if you guys need people to play with, my Discord's always open. There's tons of people every weekend looking for people to play Trials with. The link's in the description below if you guys want to join. Um, if this video will get, uh, helped you guys out, if you guys can drop a like, and if you're feeling super generous, even consider subscribing to the channel. Like always, have a great rest of your day. Peace. Thanks for watching.